All right, here we go, Cousin Keith. First burn on number 21. Fired up right away, and it's a runner. Now, the mantles I'm using on it are test mantles. These are those old, uh, cheap Chinese butterfly, old man scrotum <laughs> mantles that just, they're, they're really not right. I use 21s normally, or the Peerless uh, HG25FH, whatever that is. Anyway, so it's running good. I'm going to let it burn for about an hour, hour and a half, make sure everything's okay. Um, it's a nice one. Hang on. There we go. There it is in all its full glory. So I'm really happy with this. Fired up right away. And here's, here's a lighting tip. I don't know if you can see it past the glare. You see the, the preheat cup? You only have to fill that about halfway with denatured alcohol to get the vapor, to get the generator. I need a second cup of coffee to get your generator up to the temperature where it'll vaporize fuel. Um, if you fill it up all the way, it doesn't hurt. It just takes longer to burn off. So yeah, just fill that puppy up halfway with fuel or with denatured alcohol. Don't use fuel or kerosene, that'll just be too exciting. Um, so anyway, there we are. Number, whoo, look at that. Oh my goodness, is that pretty or what? All right, number 21, waiting to go home. I just got to do some touch-up on your case. I'll ship this out to you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to ship the globe in a separate box. The reason being is one of these guys in the oak case is so heavy it can make handling a little difficult for the, for the shipper so I you know if they drop it or something like that I don't want to take any chances of the globe getting broke I'll, I'll send the globe in a separate container or a separate box and it'll be well wrapped so it'll arrive fine so there we go that's it hope you enjoy this guy and thanks for uh, participating in the 316T project you have a real good week bye